everyone and welcome to episode 25 of my weekly catch up. So this week I got a good bit done, um, made a start on two projects, got one finished, I had two finished, sorry, two finished and yeah loads of plans now as well. So the first thing that I got made this week was the Trend Patterns Bias t-shirt dress. I started it, I think, Tuesday and got it finished pretty quickly. I just uh, absolutely love that dress. Pop a picture in. Um, I made it in the Viscose Twill Lins print, I think they called it, on from Patterns and Plains. So it was black with like a white speckle and then there was a panel that came around that was like a khaki olive green with black speckles on it and the two of them just worked so well. I have a blog post up as well about how I, the different pieces that I cut to get the effect and stuff and a few different things and yeah absolutely love that dress just it's just so nice and flattering and comfortable and yeah absolutely love it. You are right, pup? Max is looking my attention down here. <laughs> um, so then the other thing I got made, um, so you might have seen I published my the first in my bra making series there during the week and as soon as I had recorded that video and was talking about everything I ended up making a bra. <laughs> I just was so excited about it. So the it's a black beauty bra and I made it mostly from a kit from Fit to Sew. Uh, the only thing I didn't have in the kit was the fold over elastic but I had that from eBay or something from quite a while ago. So this is it, my first bra, um, well second bra but first proper bra. I am so happy with it. The fit is so good. The only issue I had was um, I think it was on this side here. I don't think I took enough of the seam allowance. You can actually see like my basting stitches on the side or else I cut the pieces maybe a wee bit too big. But it sort of sits out a wee bit here at the front so there's a wee bit of a gap in the middle and a tiny bit on the other side. But what I have done is um, I have cut out another one in the same size to see if, and I was really, really careful when I was cutting it and I'm gonna be really careful with my seam allowances. I'm gonna try that and see how I get on with it if I have the same problems. If I do, then what I'll do is take just a wee wedge out of the upper cup. It, it'll not be a huge adjustment to make. The fit everywhere else was perfect. The cup size was perfect. The band size was perfect. Everything just felt so comfortable. And yeah, absolutely love it. I'm so excited about doing this. So yeah, I have another one cut and ready to go. Um, same colours, but I might change the straps here to like the full strap because I'm not sure if I'll have enough fold over elastic and have plenty of the strap elastic. So yeah, um, we'll see. I'll see how I go. But yeah, so excited. And I've been looking on um, Emerald Erin's Etsy store and she has her kits available again. I am so so tempted by some of them. She's so gorgeous gorgeous fabrics and I found another Etsy seller as well from the UK and um, they're all linked in the blog post so I'll link the video on the blog post again down below so if you just want to go back and have a look at them but yeah so excited about this and um, yeah can't wait. So I'm going to be keep continue working with that. I have another one cut and then the other things I've been working on, so this is the, after making the trend patterns bias t-shirt dress, I just needed to make another trend patterns pattern. So I have the drop shoulder coat here. So let's see, where's the shoulder seams? I can show you, so here we go. So I have the front, the side, and the back panel all put together. Um, So yeah, I have the front and then the pockets are in here, side panel and then the back, it's all put together. There, there's quite a lot of probably trickier steps in these stages with the, so the, the side panel comes right up and then down into the sleeve a bit. So you're having to like trim into part of the 
front and back and then the pocket is constructed in a way that you can't see it and um, so you can't see any of the seams or anything here it's quite pretty well hidden it's a really it's a really nice technique but it did take quite a lot of concentration so yeah um that's where i got to in this i need to do my shoulder seams the sleeves and then the facings so not really a lot left to go in this coat and yeah, i'm really excited about it lovely working with this fabric it is a wool from you craft house last year and yeah really really nice to work with so yeah working on that can't believe i've actually started working on a coat in september and not like february which seems to be what i usually do so yeah i'm happy that i will actually have this for like all of autumn winter and i am really impressed that i'm on the ball with this one so yeah have started on that and then the other thing i got started on at the weekend um, is the, I haven't got it, no that's not the one I'm sewing together, I think it's this one. So this is the Paper Theory Olia shirt. So um, it's in a white, bright white linen viscose crepe from Sister Nataka. So I have the plackets put in on the sleeves, the front pockets and then I have just one um, of the front bodice connected to the front yoke and sleeve so yeah that is making good progress with this one and um, that was just really sort of an evening's work um obviously it was paper or zeri jumps zeri appreciation day on saturday and um, so yeah seeing everyone's paper theory patterns just made me want to start on this one and i'm really really excited about this this is something that i have been wanting to make for ages and um, just a loose classic white shirt so yeah making good progress on that and yeah that is what i have been working on so then obviously i'm going to keep working on my shirt and my coat this week i'm definitely going to try and squeeze in another bra and the other thing i want to do is cut out my homer and Hiles sissy dress still not 100 percent sure what fabric i'm going to use yet i have a couple of different options in mind but i really want to get that done because i'm hopefully going to host a workshop making that pattern at the end of the month so yeah need to get that done to see um how i get on with it and then the other two things that i would like to just get cut out this week is for Emily oh, so um, I have the Moonshine Daisies Viscose from Sister Mataka and I'm going to be making the IKT Couture Madrid dress so I've made this so many times for but I need to trace out a bigger size um, just so that it lasts a wee bit longer so yeah I will do the long sleeve not sure if i'm going to have the ruffles i might just do plain bodice with the long sleeves and yeah we dress in that for her and then the other thing i'm going to do is i have this vintage pattern so it's actually it's a really nice shape um and i just i love this top shape here with the wee puff sleeves and the collar and stuff and i do quite like the i'm not sure if it's smocking or shearing yet and um, i haven't really smocked so yeah, I might have a wee go to smock and if not, I'll just gather it. But I'm going to make her a wee either top or dress in this fabric here, this pink, like dusky pink double gauze. And I have, which will probably disappear. Oh yeah, here we are. I have this and another wee patch, which I might then sew onto them as well if the other one's like a wee mushroom. So yeah, I have those two plans for Emily. I need to get the patterns traced, which I'll hopefully get done some evening this week. And yeah, hopefully get them cut. Um, it shouldn't take me too long. Her dresses don't usually take me too long to make because they are all so small. And yeah, so even if I get them cut, I will be quite happy with that because she is a lot of her, she's just, she's getting taller. She's not getting any wider, she's just getting taller. So I do need to get Feeny clothes made up for her. And then the other thing I want to get done this week is finalise my autumn winter sewing plans. So there will be a 
vlog and a video hopefully I'll get them recorded this week I have had so much fun planning them I might go into a wee bit more detail about how I've planned them and um, what my processes and all were to um, picking out my colour palettes and that sort of thing so yeah I'll probably get that done this week as well so I do have a busy week um, on top of all of that, my sewing lessons are starting back this week. I'm so, 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 so excited. I have two lessons in the evenings and then I will be teaching all day Saturday too. So yeah, I'm just so happy. I cannot wait to see all my students again. I've missed them so much. Um, so yeah, really, really looking forward to that. So yeah, I do have a very, very busy week. I would say progress on these two it might not be a lot if I get one or two more steps done and then maybe the bra I'll probably be doing quite well and those wee bits cut out too so yeah I do I have a busy week um and let's see yeah that is it so uh, and I have a few alterations I need to get done as well so yeah that is everything so everything I got done last week and everything I'm planning for this week I am so much happier just doing this one video because I did find it then more manageable to get another video recorded last week um, so yeah hopefully this will continue to work so today I am wearing my closet core patterns Petra trousers um, a view B I think it is the slim leg view anyway in a navy linen look viscose which I got last year from I think fabric godmother I do know Minerva still has it in stock and um, so if you want a link for it I can pop that in or I can give you it and then this is just a ready to wear jumper love this jumper Um, wear it all the time it was actually I think it was from the sale in Topshop like years ago maybe five years ago <laughs> so that's how old it is and it is it's I wear it so much but I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna try and I definitely need to recreate it I, I don't know I keep seeing this like quilted grey jersey and I want to buy it to make another one but I don't want one the exact same but I do so I might try and find just a plain grey sweatshirt in and I have a mint French terry as well at the minute which I'll maybe try it out on yeah but yeah definitely need to make more of these because they're just so comfy it's just perfect fit perfect size love it so yeah that's what I'm wearing today and I will Pop the link for my coffee page down below if you just want to support what I'm doing and buy me a coffee and as I've said so many times I really really love putting these videos together for you I just love having the extra platform to connect with people and yeah I really want to keep doing them and then if you don't already subscribe to my channel and you're watching this I would love it if you could subscribe and help get me to 1000 subscribers um, and yeah that's it so that's it from me hope you're all having uh have had a lovely week and having a good day and i will catch up with you all soon bye